Right then people, a bit of lockdown content today. I, I've never done a gaming video in my life. I am not a gamer by any means, but today I'm gonna to be doing an Assetto Corsa drift video on my new gaming setup that I've got at home. Now would be a great opportunity to get a video of myself having a go, having a go at drifting on a set of Corsa as a video for my YouTube channel, right? This is not gonna be a regular thing, this is just something that I'm gonna do right now because content is obviously limited, places are closed, can't do non-essential journeys. So uh, a lot of people have asked me to do a, a, a video explaining about my setup and secondly, uh, ex showing you how my attempt at drifting, all right? So, I, I bought this whole setup literally before lockdown a few weeks ago and I put a little post on my Instagram and said if anyone's selling anything like this, get in contact with me and a lad called Calvin, yeah, honestly, I'm not joking, a lad called Calvin got in contact with me, great name that, isn't it? Uh, and I actually know him, he lives local to me and he said, Calvin, I've got a, a setup and I want 300 quid for it. I thought that sounds like a bargain. So it's a track racer seat and like the whole rig which comes with a thing that holds the screen and so it's the seat and it all comes set up as well it's got a little handle thing or the holder to put your gear stick on it didn't come with a wheel and the stick but I bought myself a G920 wheel and I bought the, uh, the manual shifter as well which also comes with the pedals so I think the, the steering wheel the pedals and the shifter was about 200 quid on Amazon and the the rig with the seat was 300 pounds second hand. So when I picked it up, I said to Calvin, uh, the, obviously the lad that I bought it off, um, what are you doing with that telly? He's like, mate, it's rubbish, but you can have it. And I thought, it sounds, does a job, doesn't it? So telly, rig, G920 wheel, uh, G920 wheel, pedals, shifter, and then the Xbox my brother drone gave to me, uh, so that didn't cost me a penny, so that whole setup cost me 500 quid. Bargain, right? And I thought, I'm gonna be using this loads and uh, I have barely used it. And literally today is probably the first time I've been on it for at least two weeks. But you know what? It's a Sunday afternoon. I'm not at work at the minute. It's a great chance to get it on the, on the channel. Right, so we've got camera one set up there. We've got, uh, we've got a camera down here. We've got a camera there for the pedals. I'll leave that on there. I don't wanna do that. And then we've got a camera up here. Flip that on. And that one. It's gonna give you lot the wheel view, yeah? If I just sort of zoom out. Yeah, that's pucker, mate, pucker. All right? Little hand clap so we can sync all the sound together. And on here, press the Xbox button and do a screen record. Mate, this is so easy. If I could do a whole channel doing this, I, man, I'm just chilling at home on my bloody Xbox. This is great. Well, that's it, we're in. So, um, I haven't really done much experimenting outside of pretty much one track and one car on this car, on this game. And the reason for buying this whole setup was because I wanted to do drifting, right? I've done a few, checked out a few reviews online, and uh, a set of course that seemed like a better game to do drifting on, right? Uh, so, not been too experimental. I did download Forza, by the way, but it put me into some story mode at the beginning everyone that plays Forza must know about that and I just thought what's this story mode all about and I just quit it and never went back on it so yeah literally just going on this drive mode clicking drift the car I've been using is this uh, 1M stage 3 car and let's, let's see what the specs are on it 400 brake horsepower it's a hang a lot for a stage 3 car but yeah 400 brake horsepower 1400 say 1500 kilos uh, that's pretty much all you want to know in it. It's 580 newton meters of torque, right? And it's got a manual gearbox as well, which is spot on. Um, duh, 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 let's check all this stuff. Traction controls off, obviously for drifting. ABS is on, not that matters really for drifting. And that's it, job done, right? Loading. 
Some people said, Cal, your telly's proper old fashioned and rubbish. It is old fashioned and rubbish, I know that, but you know what? I don't even think it's worth me buying a new one because I'm just not getting much use out of this whole setup. So, but it's great, man. If you want to get into drifting, if I wanted to be a drifter now, I'd have to buy a car, I'd have to buy tires, I'd have to go out on my way, like go to a track for a day. I ain't got the time, uh, I don't want to spend the money, and it's just a mission, man. So by doing this from home, this is great. So, Drain's first gear, I'm just try and <laughs> hopefully try and drift out of the pits. So those are angsting um, set out of course of before. I think the, the gist is, this is what I've got to understand, the gist is basically, or the gist or the, the, the aim, is to keep a drift going. So you've got to link up drifts, so you can see at the top there. I've got them points, I'm racking up them points. Oh. Bear in mind, I might be a little bit sketchy because I ain't played for a couple of weeks. So at least get into first gear there, really. This whole track, really, you spend most of it in second gear. So, and it's called the drift track. So those that have a set of course will be well familiar with this track. Oh man. I just find that when I'm linking from one drift to the other, I sort of throw the wheel round, so then it stops the back end from kicking out. As I say that, back end's about to go. So yeah, give it that, that sort of counter spin, counter turn, trying to talk and drift at the same time. Uh, fresh trim today, by the way. Cut, cut the top off, number two, number two on top, skin around the sides. And uh, messed it back up, but we're not here to talk about my haircut. I'm here to drift. But yeah, you can see at the minute I'm on a 35 combo. So the idea is obviously to keep linking, oh, without crashing into the wall. 36, that's it. 36 combo without um, hitting a wall. And you've got to keep going and get as many points as you possibly can in a certain time frame. And I think, oh, mate, first gear without, uh, yeah, until you run out of time, basically. I'm not too sure what my top, top amount of points is or my top score is, but I think it's about 30,000 points. I think it is. I'm on 9,000 already, let's say. I might do all right in this game. <laughs> That's it, so we try and get this through here. Yeah, man. Like I say, I have not attempted Many other tracks, a little had a little play around with other tracks, but I think this track's ideal for the whole drift thing. So I didn't really feel the need. I suppose if I played it more, I would experiment with other tracks, but I didn't really feel the need to do it. See that that counter steer there? I'm just sort of throwing it in and then throwing the wheel round, and it stops the back end from kicking out. This is not a drift tutorial, by the way. Um, I'm just oh, just a guy. With a car YouTube channel who is bored during lockdown. But yeah, I picked it up quite well. Oh, I nearly hit them tyres there. I sort of picked it up straight away. I think, uh, I don't know if it's, if it's considered easy. I would say it's easy. Uh, done a bit of drifting on the roads before. I'm uh, not, sorry, not the roads. You know, on the uh, track before. But I am no drifter. But I must admit, after getting a bit comfortable doing this, I'm up for getting a drift car, man. Because I reckon I could just jump into a sick little drift car like a little Wing 36 328 with an LSD and have it sideways around the whole track and link up loads of drifts from one to the other. Get slow around there, go back the other way. Oh. So I'm on 36. 36 combo again. Try not to hit that same wall again. I'll come all the way around here, I think. I think you get extra points. See, it's got the smoke symbol at the top left as well. I think you get extra points for being on full throttle. Correct me if I'm wrong. Some people have asked me what, what my wheel settings are. Honestly, I ain't got a bloody clue how to change wheel settings. So I've just literally plugged the bloody thing in. 
and just played. I, I don't know what my wheel settings are, I don't even know how to look at them. So, sorry, can't help you. Just default settings. Maybe if I could adjust them, which I know you can, maybe what I would do is do it so I don't have to throw the wheel every time I switch from one, one drift to the next. Like when I transition. <laughs> it's quality though. It is a bit addictive. I was a bit concerned. Like when I first bought it, I thought, oh man, I'm actually enjoying this a bit too much. And I did wonder if, if I'd end up spending more time playing the Seto Corsa than I would editing. Obviously, man's got to edit videos, man. I can't, there ain't no videos on YouTube if Calvin's not editing. So uh, to start with, I fell behind with editing which was a, a bit of a problem and my, my edit, editing computer is literally there so sometimes I sit down and do a bit of editing and I think oh man I wouldn't mind a little go on a set of course though. just a little little 10 minute drift and it turns into it turns into bloody hours I'm sure a lot of you lot know that if I go up this way oh Close, that was close. Oh. The view that I choose, I just go right up close. It's sort of, I don't even have the bonnet on it, but like I have the real close up view. I know a lot of people would prefer to see the whole car. I didn't show you around the car actually, did I? I should have done that. But honestly, I can't do it. If I try and drift with the whole car on screen, on display, I can't do that view. It just messes me up, so yeah, I suppose sort of each to their own. This is alright, man. If this video gets loads of views, which I don't think it will, I'll definitely do more of this, because this is easy content. I just want to beat my high score. I'm definitely going to beat my high score, aren't I? Oh, try and link it to there. It's unbelievable how good they are though, they're so realistic. You can feel like the feedback through the wheel. I know many of you have probably got these things at home. Uh, but yeah, it's, I am, ah, oh, disconnected. Oh, and I crashed, joking. So basically, I almost got my high score then. I don't know what just happened, uh, but it says it's disconnected to the server. I think that means the screen recording might stop. I don't know, but almost got my high score and it give you a little taster of how uh, how I'm getting on with this whole drift setup, all right? So, oh, it says game, uh, game clip recorded. So, it has recorded. I nearly got my high score. <laughs> Frustrating, man. Oh, because there's a little message come up on the screen saying disconnected. So, I just assumed that, oh, how annoying. How annoying. Uh, but yeah. First drive on my <laughs> drift setup, a set of Corsa, BMW 1M, stage three, 400 brake horsepower. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm gonna end it there. If you did enjoy this video, you wanna see more, let me know in the comments below. Uh, once I've become a bit more experimental with it, I could probably do different things, but right now, I, I'm literally just doing drifting in this car on that track, all right? So, uh, yeah, let me know your thoughts. I might have a go at, at um, sort of getting properly set up with Forza. It's Fours of four horizon, I just bought the pack. About 80 quid, I'm sure it was, might have been 60 quid, I don't know, but it weren't cheap. But yeah, I could do get some use out of that. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Uh, random video, but it's a great one to just infill on the channel whilst we're sort of short on a bit of content. So yeah, hit like if you like the video, hit subscribe if you're new to my channel. Give me a follow on Instagram as well, at Calvin's Car Diary, and I'll see ya in my next video. Bye. In the next episode of Diary of Car Trader, my friend Ricky recently announced that he's doing a raffle on his BMW M4 and I thought before that car gets handed over to its new owner, I need to do a video on it. So Ricky's chucked me the keys, I've had it for the past couple of days and I'm going to get a video up on Sunday at 6 o'clock. <laughs>